Okay, so I'm going to show how to disassemble an HP model 15T-AS100. So first what you want to do is remove all the screws from the bottom. So there'll be um, some T5 screws and then some PH1 screws. So there'll be a T5 one here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Once you remove those, you'll want to peel up this. Um, there's a black adhesive layer and then this rubber so you'll have to use like a needle or something to kind of scrape up and pull up both layers um, it'll be a little bit difficult to put back the black one's not really flexible or stretchy so what you'll want to do is after you put the screws back you'll put this first and then kind of start with the the edge of this and then just push it in because the middle will have to s squeeze inwards because when you peel it out it's going to stretch so you'll see here so underneath here, there'll be uh, some Phillips PH1 screws. So there'll be one, two, three, four. So there's four screws. Once you remove all of those, what you want to do is go between the edges. I had to use a, a little thin tool. Um, I use this. So you get between the two layers and then you kind of just pry it. It'll be a little tough, but you'll just have to pry all around. Once you pry enough, you can actually get in between. I like to use like my nails like this and then use the the my thumbnail to kind of pull it apart like this and then just go all along, all the way around. But yeah, it'll be tough to pry out. So I'll show you the clips here. So here you can see how the clips are holding in place. Okay. So those clips just go all the way around the whole thing like that. So there's no specific starting spot, but I started with the back, okay? All right, so once you remove that, you'll see you can get in here. Um, I would recommend removing the, the battery cable first. So to do that, you just get your fingernails or some tools and then kind of just wiggle it like this and just keep going at it from the corners and it'll just come out like that, all right? Then you can see the RAM. This looks like DDR4. Let's make sure. So you can see, eight gigs. This is DDR4, 2400T, all right? The processor is soldered to the board. You can see the right speakers here, and then the other speakers right here. So I'll do a close-up. I'm not gonna take anything out. I did this just to replace the hard drive because their hard drive was bad. Um, but let me show you here. So you got the wireless card. They covered it with this little tape. To remove the antennas, you'd have to peel this piece off first. And then from the back of it, the tail, you just pull it up and it, it'll pop out. So make sure not to pry from the front here or you can damage it. So for both of them. And then when you put it back, same way, just line it up. Um, you can put the, the this part of it first and then push down and it should snap in. Um, make sure it's lined up before you press on it because they're pretty fragile. So you can see the hinge, you see the DC jack here. You got these little ports, SD card slot. All right, you got the hard drive cable. So you don't actually need to remove the cable to replace hard drive, I'll show you that in a bit. Got the battery here. You got the keyboard connector, uh, trackpad. This is the keyboard backlight connector. I already unplugged the battery. Um, and then you got this connector here. There's two of them, so the one here and one here. And that goes for this board. And then you got the CMOS battery here. You got the, I believe this is the touchscreen connector. Might be combined with the LCD connector. So yeah. And then you got another connector. This usually is gonna be for like the, um, the webcam and stuff like that. And it looks like this connector has like multiple so it might be this is for the lcd this is for the touch screen and then this is for the camera and then you got the fan connector here yeah and that's pretty much it um to change out the hard drive what you want to do is you actually grab like close to the corners kind of do like that and then you just kind of pull on it like that okay um be careful with this cable because they use a double stick adhesive to remove it I kind of just use my nail on the edge like this let's see if I can show it in the camera but basically I use my nails on the two corners like this and you kind of just let's see I'm gonna have to like hold this while I pull it but basically you just wiggle it like this side to side okay just like that 
and that's how you remove it okay same thing to put it back you just squeeze that make sure to be careful with this cable you don't want to damage it but um just push it back in and then it's easiest to this uh rubber thing you'll have to transfer it over make sure you transfer that but pretty much you put one side first and then you can put the other side um, it's hard to do this while holding the camera with one hand but it's pretty much it you just do that push it down and it's stuck in place okay don't forget to put the battery connector back usually when i disconnect the battery i also hold the power button for 30 seconds or so after disconnecting it just to make sure there's no power depending what i replace especially if i'm doing like a screen replacement or anything like that because the voltages can cause some damages um yeah usually the ram and the hard drive they don't have a problem if you don't remove anything as long as you don't drop like some metal pieces or something on the board but that's pretty much it. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Um, I do these repairs um, on customers' computers, so I don't own these. Um, so if there's anything you need me to show, I probably won't be able to show it, but I'll try and explain it the best I can. All right, thanks for watching. Bye.